Hey everyone, I'm here at the Meyer Theater in downtown Green Bay and it's time for another Let Me Be Frank's show, The Real Housewives of the UP, season eight. Season eight. Written by this lovely woman. Yes, right here. That's I know. It's so exciting. It was pretty pretty exciting. Yeah, so tell us all about it. Well, tell us about the process of writing a show like this. Because I mean, I know Frank has touched on it before, but I mean, for a first timer, what is yeah, it like? It was a little overwhelming. I mean, I was so excited when mm -hmm. we kind of started having that conversation. And I write for his magazine, Frankly Green Bay, every mm -hmm. month. And he's like, I think that you're so funny when you write. And I'm like, okay, but writing my little column on social media is way different <laughs> than way like different writing than a full fledged right. two hour show. Right. So I was like really excited for the challenge, but I also mm -hmm. knew it was going to be a challenge. And it is difficult. I mean, I think yeah. that. Once you are in it for a couple seasons and you just kind of get used to, yeah, Frank's going to come up with this it. yeah. script and it's going to be great. And so actually having the behind the scenes, like putting right. that together and making sure that, you know, one person doesn't have 14 lines in this page and, you know, two songs aren't right next to each other that aren't going right. to work together. So it was a lot of um, logistics that I didn't anticipate, but it was a right. lot of fun writing. And I'm sure so. a lot of logistics, too, that people don't think about, too. You know, they're just like, well, this story comes to it be. It just happens. And yeah. yeah, there's a lot of nitty gritty stuff. So yeah. how long did it take you? Well, I did it kind of in chunks because I had uh -huh. an initial idea. And then once I kind of had exhausted that, I was like, no, what do I do? So yeah. I took a break for it for just a little bit. And overall, I think it took me like a week. It really wasn't that long. Really? Yeah. A week? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I was going to say, oh, she started, you know, months ago, mm -mm. a week. Oh no, my and this was all during her Christmas show. So it was, there was a lot going on. But okay. So it's okay. when Frank told you that you were going to, that yeah. he wanted you to write it, like, was that like, what well, he, okay, so we had the first conversation in like October, and I thought mm -hmm. this was gonna be like next October. Right, I didn't think like it was gonna year. be like, okay, you're gonna write the next one. And I was like, okay, great, like this is awesome. Yeah. And I was so excited because I loved the first Housewife show. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, he's trusting me with this, this is awesome. Yeah. So, and then having um, like David and Kelly and Lisa back in it, and mm -hmm. then of course like Amy and Frank and Pat and Tom and everyone, it's, right. it's just like you couldn't be handed a better cast of hilarious, fun, talented people. So it's like, this is going to be easy. Yeah, so. easy to work with. Yeah. And, you know, you put your trust in them, too, exactly. which is a big part of it. It is. So what is it like then to see, you know, it's opening up, you know, yeah. it's opening up. Yeah, it's so funny because, like, stage. I wrote it and I'm like, I can picture... Kelly's face saying this line and then mm -hmm. she'll do it just like how I imagine. I'm like, yeah. this is so cool. Or like, you know, like an eye look that Amy will give me and I'm like, that's sure. exactly how I imagined it. And it's it's just really cool to see it come to life. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah. That is so cool. And it's here at the Meyer Theater all through the month of February. So many chances to come and check it out. And I mean, you know, it's it's February, it's cold. We it wanna is. get out of the house. Come we wanna out. do something fun. Make sure to come out and see the show. The first Real Housewives of the UP was hilarious. I'm Thank sure you. this one's gonna be just as. Uh, fingers crossed, I fingers hope it's crossed. a success. Yeah, so. so come out and support Let Me Be Frank Productions and the show writer right here, Casey. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be a fun time. All of the information is on our website here, cw14thonline.com, or the Let Me Be Frank website as well. So thank you, Casey, thank you. for joining me. Again, you can find all that information down below right here 